Good morning, everyone. Thanks for the opportunity to speak to you about Expert Ops. Expert Ops is Tripwire's turnkey solution for FIM and SEM. Today we're going to talk about how Expert Ops can help you leverage the valuable configuration and change data that's produced to support your cybersecurity outcomes without all the overhead associated with a traditional on-prem environment. In a nutshell, Expert Ops is everything that you need to be successful with the best-in-class SCM and FIM solution packaged in a subscription model with a low total cost of ownership. It's Tripwire's easy button. When you work for the Office of the CISO, time is definitely not your friend. When you look at some of these statistics, you know, nine months to detect and remediate a compromise, gosh, that's a leisurely stroll through your sensitive data. Uh, if your current resources aren't available to focus on responding, you could be looking at a, a full year uh, in order to resolve a breach. You know, the cybersecurity workforce short is just continuing to get worse. Uh, with only about 25% of applicants with the requisite skills and experience to do the job. Uh, you know, doing more with less is all about utilizing your resources to accomplish what matters, and that's creating an environment in which risk is understood and managed so that the business can focus on business. A major CISO pain point is this, you know, limited resources, uh, you know, a skills gap that, they're, that we're experiencing in the industry. Um, so what happens when you're that one guy under the spotlight? You're in high demand. Uh, you're, you're, you tend to focus on more tactical things, and you're not able to be as strategic as you really want to be. And that might have a, an impact on your career outlooks. Right? You might be concerned and, and may actually be looking for greener pastures. Uh, this presents a, a major problem uh, for leadership, since attrition like this just depletes uh, that tacit knowledge reserve that you have that's difficult to replace. Two weeks is never enough time to transition, uh, even a well-documented process. And quite often, the results from um, configuration and file monitoring becomes less useful without that resource in place, and then sometimes it's even ignored. So let's talk a little bit about what happens when you, you do have thin resources, um, and those resources aren't really able to focus on ensuring that your security tools are well maintained and produce the right information. Um, so here's a scenario I think will, uh, that will resonate with, uh, with most of you. So you've, you've implemented a new solution. Uh, you've got a pretty lean team. Uh, you've got you know, consulting services came in, did a great job implementing the solution. It's stable and it's good to go. Um, things go along very nicely for a little while. Um, but then at some point, your operational resource gets pulled away to work on a completely different project. Um, as a result, they're not paying attention to your SEM and your FIM data. They're, they're implementing a, a new tool that takes all of their attention away, and the value of your SEM and FIM system uh, starts to take a dip. Um, but you recover. Uh, you know, your, your resource comes back to, the, to, uh, to monitor the console and make sure all the data is, is, uh, is flowing properly. Um, and they, they get back into it, uh, you start to get some more value for the, from the solution, and then suddenly a security incident pulls them away, uh, takes priority over operational work. Same kind of thing happens. So they lose, their, they lose focus, um, they um, uh, aren't able to maintain the system, uh, they, they lose knowledge if they're not focused on maintaining the solution as well or focused on it and administration tasks. Uh, and it takes a while to gain that knowledge back again each time they return to the solution. So you're just not getting that, that solid increasing line of value that you see with a managed service. Um, finally, you know, you're, in the next scenario, uh, your resource leaves, goes to a new security role. Um, and that, that really is a big hit to most organizations. You've got to figure out uh, how the system was configured, how the tool um, uh, how the tool is um, sending information, um, and as a result, um, you know, you've got a, a long road to recover from, uh, you know, bringing a new resource in and getting them up to speed again. Costs really continue to add up for security organizations. Uh, you can really see where the, to, you know, the total cost of ownership uh, for a, a fully hosted and managed solution would really be appealing. Um, if you think about 
um, cost to run a security solution, whether it be SCM or FIM, um, you're looking at things like cybersecurity salaries, which, which go up 5% every year. Um, if you've got any attrition in the organization, you're going to pay recruiting fees. That can be ten or $12,000 easily. Um, you've got uh, servers to procure. It could be a, uh, you know, a resource in a VM farm, but you still have to pay something for that. Uh, you're going to have database licenses depending on the solution. Um, you've got to pay for perpetual licenses for the product uh, and then pay maintenance every year. Um, and you've got uh, consulting fees to implement the solution. You've got to make sure that your admin team is trained on the solution, so you need to spend some training dollars uh, on folks and, and probably some ongoing dollars in that area every year as well. Um, and, then, uh, and then you've got to pay for internal DBAs to make sure the database stays up and running and, and is backed up. And if there are performance issues with the database, you need to get them engaged. We all know how challenging it can be to get uh, DBAs engaged. Um, and, then, and then you've got to pay for the, the maintenance of the platform or the operating system, make sure it's patched. So there's, you know, there's, there are a lot of costs that go into uh, buying a perpetual solution. Uh, and, and a solution like Expert Ops is, can, can truly be appealing. Even if you could hire and train enough people, uh, cybersecurity professionals are also dealing with an avalanche of data and information from many different security tools. To make this even more challenging, as, as companies expand by acquisition, they find themselves managing solutions that might not even be fit for purpose, but still consume uh, precious resources. Uh, as the number of things to protect increasing increases, staffing levels are flat or decreasing. And this creates a situation where information just becomes white noise. Teams become numb to events that are important and chase down superfluous alerts. In this purely reactive mode, uh, strategy becomes a thing of the past. Frankly, in, in, in this state of disarray, teams might be convinced that they could take on another solution. My recommendation would be to carefully consider a managed service that can ensure that information provided is actionable and useful. Um, information that won't land in a pile on somebody's desk to be ignored. Well, that was a lot of doom and gloom. I think we all probably get enough of that in our daily lives. Uh, let, let's talk about how Expert Ops can help. Uh, Expert Ops is easy to deploy and use because we help deploy and, and manage the solution for you. Uh, it's simple subscription pricing that includes the software and infrastructure as well as consulting services. And you know, based on our prior slides, you, you know that it can be costly to run an enterprise solution. Uh, Expert Ops offers a lower total cost of ownership than doing it yourself. Here's a high-level overview of the Expert Ops architecture. If you look at the upper left-hand corner of the screen, you'll see the Customer One box. Uh, those are your assets, your databases, your servers, point-of-sale systems connecting to the Expert Ops virtual appliance, which is at the bottom of that box in the right-hand corner there. It's labeled proxy appliance. Your FIM and configuration data passes securely using a VPN connection uh, connected to our gateway. Uh, data is then routed to your specific instance of Tripwire Enterprise that's segregated from all other customers. While our managed services team will be curating the reporting and information from the console uh, to ensure that you're getting everything you need, you can access those dashboards and reports securely utilizing your own unique and anonymized URL. Access to the console is further secured for both customers and the managed services team uh, by utilizing two-factor auth. Um, you know, all of the security controls that you would expect um, from a company that provides security solutions were really considered in the expert ops infrastructure. Um, everything from CIS hardening to vuln scanning and access control. Uh, each of our customer environments is segregated. There's no commingling of data whatsoever. Uh, we're following change management practices as well as doing rigorous monitoring to ensure the very best customer experience. As a result of uh, those security controls, uh, we've achieved SOC 2 as well as PCI certification. With Expert Ops, you're going to get uh, alerts and reports to your inbox, but it's not just alerts and reports. 
uh, it's, it's tuned information that matters to you and it helps you achieve your desired outcomes. You need clear status reports that can be sent to all levels in the organization w without generating more questions. You know, one of my customers calls this economy of motion, where the right information goes to the right level with all of the requisite details supporting the necessary task or initiative. Uh, any adjustments that you want to make to your FIM or SEM configurations just become a matter of a phone call, a quick email request. Uh, changes are well documented so that we know uh, historically what we did and why we did it uh, and can provide that to you as well. We're going to work with you to review each uh, department's contribution to your objectives and help highlight areas that may need more invest areas that may need more investment. Um, or more focus. And then finally, you're going to get uh, the expertise of, of an expert. This is someone who's certified in our products, incredibly knowledgeable, beyond just um, you know, um, product domains, also in other areas like networking and security. Um, for upcoming audits, uh, they're going to look at the needs for an upcoming audit, ensure the right information is at your fingertips, and then beyond that, they'll attend the auditor meetings to provide further context uh, about the configuration or change information um, down to the lowest level of detail. Auditors really want a crisp response, and expert ops is there for you. Here's how it works. Each customer is assigned a technical lead. That individual will have a backup to ensure continuity in the event of vacation or sick time. Uh, they'll maintain documentation of your existing configurations as well as become a mentor to your internal employees about the monitoring that's in place with expert ops. Uh, this is particularly helpful if you have new folks join your team. Uh, they can easily bring someone up to speed about the basics of Tripwire Enterprise in very little time. Uh, the expert ops team has a wealth of expertise with over seven years of, of delivering managed services. If you need something divergent from standard policies, we'll provide guidance and best practices. Ultimately, your objectives are our object objectives. If they change, so do ours. Your expert ops environment will remain tailored to today's requirements. You've got 24-7 access to a personalized dashboard. Uh, our expert ops infrastructure is fully instrumented to ensure uptime uh, and is maintained with software and content updates to ensure that you're getting the best that Tripwire has to offer. For service delivery, we have three different service tiers that align with customer needs as well as the maturity of their security programs. We found that usage scenarios for Tripwire Enterprise were so broad that a single service offering just wouldn't satisfy the needs of our customers. As you move to advanced services tiers, uh, your expert ops engineer will become even more integrated into your cybersecurity processes. With the essential tier, it includes FIM plus one standard policy, basic operation and maintenance as well. Um, this is targeted at customers that do not require frequent meetings or a high level of engagement. They've got limited purpose monitoring, not really focused on change management or reconciliation. They tend to be fairly static environments where reporting is used primarily for evidence. I wouldn't expect a lot of new requirements or changes to existing monitoring or requirements uh, with customers that choose the essential tier. Um, of course, they'll still have access to a managed services engineer for two named contacts. As you move to the advanced tier, that includes up to two standard policies across all the platforms, as well as FIM. Uh, reporting analysis and interpretation here is, is really important. That's the you know, hands-on, curated, and guided consumption of information. You'll have customized dashboards to meet the unique needs of different departments. You'll have tuned results to ensure that reporting is in alignment with what the organization needs and is specific. You'll be able to monitor custom-built applications. Uh, that could be monitoring based on specific files, database objects, or even query results. Dynamic software reconciliation is included in this tier. That's DSR. Uh, what DSR does is it identifies changes made by approved system updates like Windows hotfixes, and then automatically reconciles those changes. You'll have direct access to your expert ops managed services engineer for up to four named contacts. As you move into the advanced plus tier, you get everything with advanced plus some other items. You'll get 
Tripwire's Enterprise Integration Framework, TEIF. This is an automated way for your expert ops environment to directly integrate and communicate with your ticketing system. You'll have support of custom policies. While TE has standard policies that meet the majority of customer SEM requirements, we'll work with you to maintain your custom built policies. You'll have detailed operational documentation. That's complete documentation of the environment, the service engagement, and any shared workflows. You'll have unlimited change requests. Often we see adjacent organizations take interest in the capability uh, that Expert Ops delivers. So additional access to your Expert Ops engineer is going to be key. We'll help you prioritize remediation efforts. We'll work with you to look across the organization uh, to highlight options for remediation that will improve your security posture. Of course, it's up to you where, you where you decide to focus your remediation resources, but we want to give you options. We'll work with you on change promotion. We'll define what changes. Uh, we'll work with you to define what changes are really business as usual based on the severity of those changes so that we can help acknowledge expected change on your behalf. We'll work to do waiver creation for you and update those waivers for exceptions to configuration standards. You'll have direct access to your expert ops managed service engineer for up to six named contacts. We'll move to Q&A in just a moment, but first I want to highlight some resources that are available on our corporate site. Uh, of course, for a more detailed discussion about how expert ops can help you do more with less, please reach out to me at tbunker at tripwire.com. Okay, I'd like to turn it over for any questions that you might have. Uh, there's a, a Q&A widget at the bottom of your screen. Uh, hit that and go ahead and enter any questions that you might have. I see one coming in now. Um, uh, here's a question. Will I have a focused point of contact or will request be serviced by a pool of engineers? Um, so yes, absolutely. You'll have a, a focused point of contact. Um, beyond that focus point of contact, you'll actually have uh, an engineer that is a backup to that contact uh, to ensure that service is provided in the event of uh, time or, or PTO. Uh, here's here's a, uh, a great question. Um, what can you tell me about the, ah, the SLAs for each of the service tiers? That's a great question. Um, so um, we, know, we know that you have um, internal stakeholders and commitment to those stakeholders. So we want to make sure that we delivered a, a service that has SLAs associated with the different service tiers. Um, those SLAs are, are tied to um, change requests, event notification, and service faults. Um, and obviously, the response time improve um, with the higher level service. Um, in, in addition to having those SLAs, we also stand behind them with, uh, with service credits. Uh, here's another question. Um, Expert Ops would take care uh, of keeping track of updates of our Tripwire products automatically. Yes, absolutely. The Expert Ops team would be responsible for maintaining product releases as well as content releases and making sure that um, everything is, is updated uh, on a continuous basis. Great question. Thank you. Any questions? Doesn't look like there are any other questions. So I just wanted to thank you all for your, for your time. Um, again, my email address is ebunker at tripwire.com. If you have any questions about Expert Ops or the associated services with Expert Ops, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, happy to um, engage and, and um, give you more detail around the service. So thank you very much, everyone, and, and have a fantastic day.